Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Hey, everyone. This is Dr. Renee Volney Darko here. And I'm coming to you from Central PA, where I live. And uh, I'm actually out with my husband and my niece and my son. And we decided to stop by, get some ice cream, play a little bit of miniature golf, and um, hit a couple of balls in the batting cage. But I wanted to talk a little bit about um, haters. You're out there. I know you are. Some of you are watching this video. <laughs> so, haters, they will be a part of your life. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, haters will be there to kind of tear you down everywhere you go, um, every step of the way. Sometimes haters are the ones that are closest to us. Uh, they're not always people who just don't like us. Sometimes they're the people who love us and they kind of hate on us for what it is that we're trying to do. They hate us for what we're trying to do, not because they don't necessarily love us, but you know, maybe sometimes they're trying to protect us from failure. But what they don't realize is that, you know, the hate, the, the, the negative comments, those kinds of things can really be a blow, not just to our egos, but just to our entire identity, you know, who we are, what we're trying to strive for, um, what we think we can achieve. So, you know, to your haters, you just tell them, poof, pow, be gone. You know, you, you don't want to deal with negative energy around you. You don't want to deal with people saying things to you that really are not going to help you in your struggle, help you in your progress. Um, because guess what? You know, those haters will be the same people that when you finally do accomplish what it is that you are going to accomplish, they won't remember that they hated on you. They won't remember. Like, it'll be like, what, me? I never said that. <laughs> Start recording. <laughs> so you can play it back. <laughs> don't record so you can play it back just move on but this is just to say um, you know that I, I, I'm doing this video because I've been doing some research of my own talking with pre-meds about just kind of you know their struggles um, things that they have to deal with in terms of being pre-med especially being non-traditional pre-meds and one of the one of the things that you know has been recurrent is that people have continuously discouraged them and so they retreat they retreat into isolation don't retreat into isolation do not retreat into isolation when someone discourages you like I was discouraged when I was pre-med you have to you know you have to find other people there're always going to be other people who are in your corner who are willing to help you no matter how much work you have to do I spoke with a pre-med on Monday Tuesday Tuesday and she has a lot of work to do she has a lot of work to do but I would never tell her not to pursue her goals instead I told her look this is what you probably need to do in order to pursue your goal in order to get on the right track because you never know what fire is burning inside of someone you know, that can make them really overcome what you never ever thought was possible. So deal with haters in such a way where you essentially just kind of ignore them and move on because you just don't need that type of energy in your life. And if it's somebody who you truly, you know, care about, someone in your family, a good friend of yours, you know, someone who you feel should be in your corner, let them know, you know, you don't necessarily appreciate the negative energy and you would expect that they would really have your back um, no matter how impossible what it is seems like you know could happen that they would have your back um, after all what do they have to lose I mean they, they don't have much skin in the game anyway so they could either come at you with positive energy or they can not come at you at all anyway that's the word for the day.